Hello and welcome to uh, the South Asian Heritage Month Family Quiz. My name is Bobby Seagar and I'm really delighted for you because this is the first ever uh, South Asian Heritage Month in the UK. If you usually come along to my Saturday family quizzes, they're normally quizzes for the NHS, but this one in particular is for South Asian Heritage Month. So if you're wondering what it is, it's a month that is there to commemorate, mark and celebrate South Asian culture, history and ties to British history. So we're looking at, if you look at the globe, we're looking at the countries of India, Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Maldives. I think I've got all the countries there. So welcome to everyone. So the rounds are, so usually my family quizzes, there's a back to school round, so that hopefully your school children in the family can help out. Then we've got a pictures round. Then the third one is an unusual Bobby Seagull style charades. So again, if you've seen my charades, I speak a bit. Again, I'm not, I'm not the best actor, so I'll be speaking a bit in the charades. Uh, then we've got a music round. And then finally, a bit of fun at the end, uh, a sing-along, dance-along, just to sort of celebrate uh, the occasion. Let's have a look at the round. So first round is back to school. Are you ready? So label one to five on your paper. Label one to five. Label one to five. And again, make sure you do tweet us um, at uh, Bobby underscore Seagull at SAHM underscore UK so we know how you're getting along okay so are you ready are you ready for the quiz you ready okay question number one hello the Palmers hello the Peacocks so question number one a bit of science for you okay to spell South Asian using periodic table elements for the South bit we have the S will be sulfur we have the O is oxygen and the TH is thorium what would the U be? So what is the periodic table element to make south? There we go, a bit of science, a bit of chemistry. What do you think that is? So to spell the south part of South Asian, S would be sulfur, O is oxygen, TH is thorium, what would the U be? Bit of science. Testing your memory there of chemistry, aren't I? Question number two. Are you ready? Shall I move on? Have I given you enough time? I think I've given you enough time. At the end, we'll go through the questions so you get one more chance as well. So question number two. So a bit of history here. So in what 1900s decade did India gain independence. And also Pakistan was formed as well. So in what 1900s decade did India gain independence? So at the time Lord Mountbatten would have been the last Viceroy uh, of India. So we had India, uh, Pakistan and East Pakistan all formed in this decade in 1900s. And usually in my quiz I'm generous with the decade but today I want, I want the exact decade. I want the exact decade. So what 1900s decade did India gain independence, as well as Pakistan being formed as a nation? That's question number two. Okay, question number three. Question number three. So a bit of maths. I'm a maths teacher. Of course you're going to get some maths. So a bit of geography and maths. So it's a bit of a fractions type question where I want a decimal answer. So firstly I want the number of stripes stripes or, or horizontal bands on the Indian flag and I want you to divide that by the number of different colours on the Pakistan flag and you'll get an answer and I want the answer in decimals. Really testing you here today. So I want the number of stripes or horizontal bands on the Indian flag and I want you to divide that by the number of different colours on the Pakistan flag. You get an answer but I want the answer in decimals. So Maybe you ask your children, they, they, they'll hopefully have a fractions and decimals. I want it as a decimal. So that's question number three. You weren't expecting this, were you? Testing your, your geography, uh, your memory and your math skills. Multitasking with the South Asian Heritage Month quiz night. How are you doing there? You're probably thinking, oh, what's that flag? No peeking, no looking at world maps. None of that, none of that. Okay. Question number four, spelling, spelling. So um, I'm going to tell you what the word is in a second. So actually, um, many words from the English language 
um, come from various Indian languages, such as Kashmir, Dungarees, Pandit, uh, Pajamas, uh, Bungalow, Shampoo, Thug, Yoga. These are all words that have come from various Indian languages. So your question is, so I want you to spell the word Juggernaut. So Juggernaut is also from Sanskrit originally. So I want you to spell the word Juggernaut. And if you're a fan of the X-Men, you'll notice that the, uh, the figure, is that the way? Yeah, the figure on the bottom left-hand corner is Juggernaut from X-Men. Juggernaut! Um, so what is the spelling of the word Juggernaut in English? That's question number four. You didn't expect spelling. Who'd have thought Saturday night, South Asian Heritage Month, with a bit of spelling, a bit of maths, this is the back to school round, so testing your knowledge there. Juggernaut. And then the final question for round number one. Back to school, hopefully easing you in to the quiz. So I often do Sunday Times family quizzes. And in fact, one of my quiz questions recently was, what's the name of the country file presenter you can see in the red checkered shirt? We know that. That's Anita Rani. But... The question for you today is, is it true or false one? India is the only country where both lions and tigers live. Not in zoos, but in the wild. So India is the only country where both lions and tigers live in the wild. Is that true or false? So you have five questions, true or false. Okay, I'm going to go through the questions one more time because I'm that sort of generous kind of teacher. So go through. So question five, you see. Question four. Spell the word juggernaut. Question three. In decimals, what is the number of stripes or horizontal bands in the Indian flag divided by the number of different colours on the Pakistan flag? Question two. In what 1900s decade did India gain independence? And question one. What is the element U? So if you're uh, a regular to my quiz, you know only what I do is I do a 10 second little dance before time's up. So I do a little 10 second dance. Wait, how about 10? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's your time. Pens down. Pens down. Pens down, boys and girls. Pens down. I always do a little 10 second dance between the rounds. Gets me excited. Okay. So uh, let's see what these answers are. So U is the element uranium. It's uranium. One mark. That's it. Question two. So, um, we had Pakistan being formed, uh, East Pakistan, which ended up being Bangladesh and India. And this was after the partition of 1947. 1947. Um, and Benita Kane, Dr. Benita Kane and Anita Rani actually were in a BBC One documentary a few years back uh, called, I think, My Partition of Me. And again, if you look up on the BBC iPlayer YouTube, you'll probably find it somewhere there. Great documentary. If you want to find out more about India, uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh's history. So there you go. That's 1940s. And I want the exact decade. Question three. So India has three horizontal bands, three stripes, and Pakistan is green and white. Three divided by two, which is 1.5. I wanted the 1.5 if you put three over two. I asked for decimals. I'm not going to be generous. So 1.5. And question number four, juggernaut. Let's make sure I get it correct. So it's J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T. So it's J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T. Juggernaut. And again, originally this word is, it's almost like a huge wagon that bears the image of a Hindu god. So it was like a, a truck, a juggernaut, and it ended up being, meaning in English, a powerful, overwhelming force, a juggernaut. And the fifth and final one, so we have the Asiatic lion and the Bengal tiger, and it's true, India's the only country where they both live in the wild. As far as we know, they're not in the same territories because lions tend to be in grasslands and tigers tend to be in jungles, but it's absolutely true. So there we go, round one, Back to school. You can see the answers there. Let me know how you're doing after the first round. And I'll just, um, quick few announcements. So one is, um, if you're enjoying my quizzes, I do quizzes all the time. Obviously I do my classes, but it's the end of term. So my next class is uh, on Thursday, again, about South Asian heritage. Um, it'll be on Thursday, 11 o'clock on my, all my same channels, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, on Wednesdays, eight o'clock, I do normally a short quiz, about 20, 25 minutes, a football theme quiz. If you love football, Again, when I, when I want to, 
when I won Celebrity Mastermind, my topic was actually England at World Cups. And I even beat Gareth Southgate in a quiz about football recently. I took part in an England quiz and I beat Mr. Gareth Southgate. He gave me a little applause. I'm going to show that video to my students when I return back. But on Saturdays, I do a family quiz, a bit pretty much the same. A back to school round, there'll be a pictures, there'll be charades, music, the same structure. Sometimes it's like a general, there's no theme, but other times it's themed. Like I did a Wimbledon one recently, I did a, um, what did I do, a 4th of July theme. And I think next week I might do like a summer holiday themed one. So thank you. Thank you so much. See you all very soon. Lots of love, lots of South Asian heritage, much love to you guys.